Hi everybody, Glitch here. Hope you guys are doing well. Like I told you guys before, if you guys didn't catch my first and second video, I am an epileptic. I have absent seizures, which means I sort of blank out. So if you ever see me do it, I'm not ignoring you. Okay, so welcome to another epileptic short. And I'm going to kind of tell you guys a story. So story time with Glitch. <laughs> so the other night I went to go see... Exodus Gods and Kings with my family on a family date. So as we're going into the movie theater, my dad's like, Janie, do you want some popcorn? And I'm like, duh, I want some popcorn. Who doesn't want who doesn't want any kind of popcorn? So he's like pouring on the butter, pump, 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 pump. And I realize as I'm wearing these like super duper tight jeans, I'm like, I gotta pee. Woo! So I'm running to the bathroom, and when I get when I get to the bathroom, I am waiting in line doing this pee pee dance. It looks like an ape, like trying to attack, but in the bathroom. So when the stall opens, go in there, lock the door, rip off my pants, and I'm like hovering, you know, like a helicopter would over a toilet, except helicopters don't hover over toilets. But regardless, so I'm hovering, and I have both hands on the stalls, stall walls, right? And I'm peeing, like, as fast as I can, because I'm so excited. I can't wait to see this movie. And I accidentally, because I'm peeing so fast, like, all the water's rushing out of my body, like, shh. Yeah, so I accidentally, like, let out one of those crispy farts, like, yeah, and it just, it stunk so bad and then I tried to be quiet because it's like one of those farts that you should never ever ever let out in public you're just like oh my goodness I hope nobody knows me by my shoes and then I hear this crazy sniffing thing like <laughs> coming from the other side of the stall and then I just I try to like pee really fast because it's like all coming out of me and then I hear like this knock <coughs> on my stall wall like on the other side of it and I hear Mexican food and I'm like do I respond to this I don't understand and I was like yeah that is Mexican food and this lady this like enormous sniffer lady I don't even know what she looks like but she's got to have like an enormous sniffer and she keeps sniffing she's like <laughs> a hunter they should hire that person you know at the police station to find people they could find a dead body with that sniffer she goes chilies and I'm like oh my gosh this lady is good what and I was like yeah chilies she goes did you have the beef enchiladas and I'm like dude you're awesome so after you know I pee I pull up my pants you know I kind of walk out and I'm like looking for this enormous sniffer Nope, the woman has like a tiny pixie nose, you know, but it's like, it's like this, you know, tiny, tiny like this. How she even got other scents in there, I have no idea. So, then you, you know, we're washing our hands and we agree to agree that we will never speak of this moment ever again. So, shh, don't tell her I told you. Okay, so I'm going to the movies, you know, after the bathroom and everything, I'm running outside in the hallway, all right, trying to get to this excellent movie. And I find my parents, I sit my behind down, right, and I'm watching and I'm waiting after these enormous amounts of commercials. I'm like, oh, come on, just let me see my movie. And the movie starts. The setting is dark. Now, background. We all know that this is a story about Moses, okay, bringing his people out of Egypt at the request of God, you know, and he's bringing them to a new land that's flowing with milk and honey, like it is said in the animation and in the Bible. Okay, so I'm excited, can't wait to see it. And then uh, like 20 minutes into the movie, it goes off this weird tangent. And I'm like, what? Okay, and keep in mind, this is like a two-hour, no, like two-hour and 40 minutes movie. And I've never wanted myself to glitch, 
but that whole movie, after the first 10 minutes, I was like, please let me glitch. And I'm sitting there, like, trying to cause things. Like, I'm trying to flash the lights in front of me. I'm, I'm like, trying to catch all the flashing lights, you know, like, oh, oh, can I catch it, you know, so I can glitch. Or I'm trying to, like, stare for long periods. Like, I was looking at the television screen, like, trying to stare. Trying to stare. It, it wasn't working. And you would think, like, if I willed myself to glitch, it would work. But it didn't work. So I had to sit through that horrible two hour and 40 minute movie that had nothing to do with the Bible. Okay, I was eating a stranger's popcorn. Like I was crunching on a stranger's pot. He could have had like AIDS or something. I didn't even know, but I was trying to get my mind off of it because it was so terrible. You know, I almost got up and left, but I was like, this is $30 and I paid for it. So I'm going to sit here and just agonize because it was bad. It was so bad. Like it wasn't even a good movie. Like, I, I decided in my mind, after it had nothing to do with the Bible, I was like, okay, well, it might be a good movie. So I was sitting there and watching, I was like, this isn't even a good movie. Who did this? So, normally I don't whip out my phone in the middle of a movie because I have more respect than that, but this movie was not a movie. So I, w I went like, whoosh, and whipped out my phone, just like this, typed in my little passcode, and looked it up, which I'm going to do again. I was like, who on earth had the audacity to, to direct something like this? I was like, this is awful. Okay, this is awful. I am a theater person. This is an insult. And we found out, I found out, by the way, one second. I spelled it wrong. I found out, by the way, that... The director of Exodus is an atheist. And I'm like, hold up. Hold the phone. Put that sucker on mute and hold up. Okay, because I was like, who would do a Bible story if you are an atheist? That makes no sense. Okay, so I'm just like, uh, mind equals one. So then I was on, I got home, thank God, after that movie, and was just like, ugh, I need some TV. So I turned on the History Channel. Pretty sure it was the History Channel. Okay, turned it on, and they had a documentary about it. I was like, I'm gonna watch this, okay? So I'm watching it, and I'm like, holy but Jesus, they tried to do a scientific version of the Bible that ended with this epic battle where Moses and Ramesses got sucked in under the water. Okay, FYI, children that don't know the Bible, okay, go to church. The movies Noah that came out this past year in 2014 and Exodus, Gods and Kings have nothing to do with the Bible. Nothing. Okay, or at least open the Bible and read it because that story will mess you up. Like, it messed me up and I know the Bible. Okay, so while I was watching this documentary on there, it said that the waters kind of receded backwards. I was like, the water recedes my bathtub if I ever get in the bathtub in like a bubble bath, you know, the water recedes. It's like, no, don't come in here, no, okay. So that's scientific. That's scientific enough for me. But anyways, terrible movie. Don't go and see it and don't watch it or rent it on demand or whatever you got to do. Don't Hulu it. Don't Netflix it. Don't whatever. You know, don't do it because it's a bad movie. Okay. I think like Rotten Tomatoes gave it like a one and they were right. So anyways, all right, glitchers, uh, I hope you enjoyed this epileptic short. I guess it's not really as short as my last epileptic short, but that's my story. Love the movies. Movie buff. Come out with better movies, Hollywood. Love you.